Document Control and Lifecycle. In this video, I'll demonstrate document control principles through Qualio features. But first, let's define what document control is. It's a formal and systematic approach to managing your documents and records. And the term managing encompasses creation and updating. Document control is just one component of quality management, an umbrella term that links documents and records to training, events, products, processes, procedures, and equipment. There are a lot of interdependencies here, and that's where Qualio can help you keep track of it all. It's a pretty big job to document your products, processes, procedures, equipment, and systems initially, but then consider the effort and coordination to keep everything up to date. And we do this not only because it's a requirement from regulating bodies, but because it helps to keep consumers and employees safe. Document control is governed by a hierarchy starting with a quality manual. The quality manual should clearly communicate to employees and auditors at a high level the framework of policies and procedures that dictate how your organization is run and meets quality requirements. Then those individual policy and procedure documents describe work instruction documents and forms and templates that should be used to fulfill the policy and procedure requirements and steps. Then at the bottom of the hierarchy are the individual records created using the forms and templates. Each level gets more and more granular and detailed so that an employee or auditor can start with the quality manual and follow the breadcrumbs to view a specific SOP, the form or template to complete a procedure and the final output of individual records. When you're in Qualio, what you'll find to support document hierarchy are those breadcrumbs in the form of smart links. When you use a smart link to point to a policy, procedure, form, etc., you'll be taken to the most up-to-date version of that document. Adding a smart link is as simple as at mentioning the document ID or title, or you can use the smart link button. Document control isn't just about what document points or links to another document. It also refers to how a document is managed for its entire life cycle. When creating a new document, you'll use a predefined template. Templates for your organization are created during Qualio onboarding and crafted with your specific organization in mind. A template for each type of document should be created and provided for future use. So when creating a new document, you may see a template for policies, one for procedures. Perhaps you'll find multiple work instruction templates based on department. Work with your Qualio quality users to create and modify templates. And this is the first control measure in the document lifecycle to create documents based on the template structure. The next phase of the document lifecycle is to send it for review. During draft creation, you'll select who should review the document as well as who should approve the document. But we'll come back to approvers in a moment. Then once you've got your draft as you'd like it, you'll click the button to send for review. The listed reviewers will get an email notification that they have a document to review, and they'll review and note comments that the document owner can see and take action on. The comments history will always be available for the life of the document version. Then, when you're done reviewing, you'll mark the document as reviewed. Next, the document owner will reply to any comments left by reviewers and resolve comments once completed. But the review phase is intended to be a feedback loop between document creators and reviewers, which means that the document may need to revert back to draft form if edits need to be made. This will spawn another review cycle. But if the document looks good and comments have been resolved, the document can be sent for approval. And we are now in the approval phase. As mentioned earlier in the draft phase, you'll select who can approve the document. A document must have at least one quality user approver. The quality user role is reserved for quality team members with oversight over your organization's entire quality management. This is another control measure within Qualio to help ensure your organization is not approving documents prematurely. Approvers have two options. They can approve or decline. But if more than one approver is listed, it must be approved unanimously. When you click to approve a document, you must apply your digital signature as the final step. Once that's done, the document can be made effective. There is an option in the document properties to automatically make the document effective 
after approval. But if there is a training window prior to becoming effective, a quality user will need to manually make the document effective once training is complete. When you're ready, you'll find the approved documents ready to be made effective on your dashboard. You can click there or you can go to your document workspace and go to the approved section and select your actions. Open the document and click the make effective button and enter your digital signature. When a document is made effective, Qualio will automatically assign the version and log the approval and effective date, which is important for your audit trail. But most importantly, it represents what your organization has approved and is committed to upholding. Now that you have a beautiful new effective document, you can make sure employees in your organization know about the new policy or procedure or updates to an existing policy or procedure. After all, it won't do any good if they don't know what it says or even that it exists. And that's why training is also part of document control. Similar to the review and approval process, you'll designate within the document properties who needs to complete training. And once the document is made effective, those employees will be notified of outstanding training they need to complete. Training assessments can be added to confirm that employees fully understand the content. And after they've read and digested the content and completed the assessment with 100% accuracy, they will sign off completion with their digital signature. Now you can view a document's training activity by clicking on the reports dropdown and selecting activity report. From here, you can manage who needs to be trained on the document. You can send email reminders to trainees who've not completed training and even select employees that need to be retrained because their activity poses a risk and it's apparent they don't understand the policy, procedure, or work instruction. This is also documented in Qualio and part of document control. When an effective procedure is not followed, a deviation or non-conformance event should be logged and linked back to the related policy, procedure, or work instruction. These event logs should be leveraged to identify which documents teams should be retrained on. This is a real life scenario and the reality of working with humans. Sometimes knowledge isn't committed to long-term memory and sometimes our documents aren't as clear as we thought they were. Let's use this example to demonstrate how updating documents is at the crux of document control. It's one thing to create a new document, it's a whole other beast to keep them updated. And because regulations outline change control as a requirement, it's important for you to understand how Qualio can help you manage change control. So you've identified a work instruction document that outlines a process many employees are either doing incorrectly or asking a lot of questions about. You'll first need to create a new draft of the document. Notice that you'll be brought to the change control tab first. This is an important tab and should not be taken lightly. Anytime you make changes to an effective document, you should specify what you're changing, why you're changing it, and an impact assessment. Then you can proceed to update not only the document's content, but also the training assessment. Click Save and Exit, and note that the major and minor version has been updated. The minor version of a document will increment with each review and approval cycle. Also note that we're back in draft status, which means we've started the document lifecycle all over again. So we'll need to send it for review to the reviewers and then for approval to the approvers, just like we did the first time when we created the document. And finally, make the document effective and send it to trainees for training. Qualio will not allow me to make the document effective without these control measures being satisfied. Now, if an auditor wants to dig into a specific document, they can view the related change control record for this version of the document and compare it against previous versions of the document. And only time will tell if your document changes made an impact. Well, that and the training activity report. Similar to the updating process we just walked through, Qualio has built in a system for periodic review of your documents as another control measure. During document creation, you'll specify on the document properties how frequently that document should be reviewed. Then, on a regular cadence, pull up the periodic review report to identify documents up for review. Open the document and click the Start Periodic Review button, where you'll make a decision on whether or not the document does in fact need to be updated. 
And if yes, you'll create a new version and follow the document lifecycle from draft to review to approval and training. All of this in an effort to ensure that documents are a current representation of your organization's policies and procedures. The final step in the document lifecycle is to retire a document. And you'll need to do this for outdated procedures and work instructions, which will inevitably happen as your organization grows and develops its procedures and systems. Once you've selected the document, you can retire it from the More Actions dropdown. But the document will continue to exist in perpetuity within your document workspace for as long as you use Qualio as your eQMS. Maintaining records for X number of years is another document control regulatory requirement, which most auditors will inspect, and a huge improvement upon the paper-based quality management systems that require physical, expensive storage. And speaking of audits, the audit trail report has logged all the activities we demonstrated today, along with who performed the action and when. This automated log is a physical representation of document control that would otherwise have to be logged manually if you weren't using an eQMS. Today, you've learned a lot about how Qualio helps you manage document control regulatory requirements. We've talked about the document hierarchy and how to use smart links to connect your documents. You've seen the entire document lifecycle and control measures like templates, review and approval processes, using digital signatures upon approval, and using the change control record along with the audit trail report. We've demonstrated how to leverage training features like training assignments, sending reminders and assessments to verify that your employees are properly trained. And lastly, we've discussed how quality events can be related to effective documents and can help to alert quality teams of potential document and assessment changes. As you begin to use your new Qualio system, if you have questions about any of these topics, consult the Qualio Health Center articles or consider attending our customer webinars. Our support team is also available for any questions you may have. Cheers.